Welcome to another episode. My name's Jose Naharo, and today I'm gonna show how I'm gonna be moving out of my Robinhood account. So in this episode, I'm gonna show how to move brokers without selling, without selling your stocks. And I think that's the most important thing, right? Because you can move out of brokers that what I would consider the hard way, which would be selling all your stocks, becoming liquidable, moving all your money from your platform Robinhood into your bank, and then from your bank into the new into the new broker. Um, that's not what I want to do. I don't want to do that. So the easiest way to go about it is to just transfer your stocks, your equities to a different platform. And that's actually pretty easy to do. So uh, in this episode, right, you, you pretty much only need two things. Um, the first thing you need is a, your Robinhood account number. And that's actually pretty easy to go. Um, just go to your phone or wherever, unlock Robinhood, get into your Robinhood. Once you're in the Robinhood main page, you go to account. Once you go to account, you can go to or go to settings. In the settings, you can look for account information. Um, and then under account information, you will see a tab there that says account number. You can also find it under your statement, I believe, if you can't find the account number. So you can just put it under your statement. Um, so that's that's all you need from Robinhood. So the second thing you need is a new broker. Um, a new broker, for me, there were two, there, there's many brokers out there, so you can't, I don't think you can go wrong as long as you do your research on the broker you wanna go with. Um, for me, there were two brokers that I kind of wanted to go with, and that would be either Fidelity or Ameritrade. Um, if you guys don't know me, if this is your first time watching, my name's Jose Naharo, and I do plenty of videos on stock fundamental analysis. I literally just research companies and see, try to find the best investment for myself. I ended up creating a YouTube portfolio. So my YouTube portfolio are based on the companies I find to, to be um, good in these YouTube videos. I now invest them um, to their show, my, my skin on the game based on my analysis. Um, so that's where I have my YouTube video and my YouTube portfolio is actually on Fidelity. So that's the main reason I, I thought Fidelity would have been a good change. And then I've used Ameritrade plenty of times. I like their platform Thinkorswim, and I just like their overall website platform. Um, so, so I was stuck between these two websites, between Fidelity and Ameritrade. Um, I actually, since I use, I do use my YouTube account very often, uh, and I trade with. I don't trade. I invest in my phone um, from time to time. Sometimes I'm too lazy to get on the on the web service, even though I do do most of my trades on most of my investments on both their web and phone. I'm very, I like Fidelity's application. I like how you can do fractional shares on Fidelity. And I think that's very, very important. One thing to note though, before we begin is Robinhood does charge $75 to transfer your account from Robinhood into another, into another broker. Um, sometimes you can call the other broker. I know Fidelity has in the past been able to refund you um, that fee that they charge so you guys can easily give a call to to fidelity to see if they can if they can give you a, a refund based on Robinhood's broker I'm not sure if TD Ameritrade or any of the other brokers do that um, so tomorrow morning I'll definitely give a call to fidelity to see if they can reimburse me on that money so let's go into fidelity website and see how easy it goes so if you don't have a fidelity account um, you go and create one, right? It's it's pretty easy. It's just how you created a Robinhood account. Um, you have to go there, then you have to link your bank account if you want to do deposits. Same with the TD Ameritrade, right? It's pretty easy to to create an account. Um, it, it's very very straightforward. So now that I'm logged in, the first thing I want to do here in Fidelity is put transfer assets um, just under search because I couldn't really find it uh, in in their platform. So I'm going to do transfer assets. And then the first one here is your guide to transfer assets. So we're gonna click that. Then it says transfer assets to Fidelity, start transfer, all right? It seems pretty easy so far. Then you can search your current firm, all right? This is your current broker. So right now my current broker is Robinhood. So we can put Robinhood. I select the Robinhood, click next. All right, so now you end up here in, in Robinhood. After here, you have to enter your account number, so like I said, you can find that pretty easily. Most of the time, your account would be an individual account. Well, you might know individual joint, depends on how, how you did it. Um, just choose your account number. For most people that are just trading, I think using Robinhood, most of the time, your account would most likely be an individual account. But again, you can probably just call Robinhood 
if you don't know the answer to that i honestly couldn't find where i would go and get it but um i know for me it would be individual okay so i ended up i ended up entering my account number all right so the next thing is are you moving your assets into an existing account or would you like to open a new one so actually if you wanted to create one you can actually just create it on here without creating one prior but um for me i already have an existing account so i'm gonna click an existing account all right so next is asking me do you well, let's go about the specifics of your assets how would you like to transfer transfer all account assets yes let's transfer everything out of there um so next thing next upload statement so we actually need the statement from Robinhood. it's faster and easier for us to process your transfer if you upload and attach your documents online you can either download a recent pdf statement from Robinhood or take a screenshot of recent paper statements all right so that's pretty easy i mean it, you can either log in into your account or here in robinhood.com in, in their applications under settings you can go to um, not under settings under statements and documents you can find account statements so i'll find the most recent date statements i'll i'll email it to me um to my email all right so now i've added my my statement to to robin hood all right so next we're going to click next here so next we're going to see please look at this information carefully correct error yep we're moving from robin hood my account number account type individual i'm moving to um transfer brokerage transfer all assets i include my most uh my most recent statement uh, so let's go agree and submit and now yeah thank you your request has been submitted and i will receive a confirmation and status update for your transfer so that was actually um pretty easy uh so now i don't have to worry about selling anything i don't have to worry about um it, everything's gonna happen here uh so if you have options i'm not sure how that would work so if you have options definitely give them a call and find out if, if that plays a difference i don't have any any options on my account um, from robin hood um, but definitely give them a call they're they're pretty easy i've, I've dealt with their customer service numerous times with fidelity just because they're also with my 401k as well um, so i've called them plenty of times um, and i've always gotten great service from them another reason i chose this this account so I hope you guys enjoy, right? This is this was a pretty easy easy way to go about it. So I'm going to I'm going to probably post an update in the next in the next week when my account has fully moved and see if there has been if there if anything did move. I did purchase some items today that were not in my statement that I just posted. So I wonder if those items are not going to move um or I don't know if they that's just to see what an overall what what my account should look like overall. Um, so like I said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys move out of Robinhood. Like I said, it's been three three times in the past week where Robinhood has failed. And yes, it, it was a great brokerage um, about five years ago for the free investments. And I do appreciate them because they did do a lot for us small-time investors. But when you can't really, it's it's been so many years now, you should got to develop your servers. You got to continue to evolve, right? All these other big players evolved and allowed us small investors to be able to enter the game. Um, so I hope you guys, uh, if you guys got, got pretty annoyed today, this is one way to go about it. Or if not, give Robinhood a fourth chance. So take care. Let me know what you guys think and have a good night.